Good morning, YTPC. Voodoo Review coming at you via the virtual airwaves of the internet. By way of YouTube. Hopefully everything's catching you well today. So I went begging. Well, sort of begging. I asked real politely if I could find some of that blend that was recently done by Virginia Piper. Silums. Silum Schwartz, or black, as it might be called. Um, now, in Virginia's review, as can be seen at www.briarreport.org in the snapshots, um, he said one of the first things that catches his mind is a uh, soap. I understand what he's talking about. Um, it has a clean... It, it's like you've walked down the soap aisle and the the mixed scent kind of permeates the whole aisle and that's similar to what you're going to catch here um but i seem to i seem to be catching more of a berry now don't don't get me to try and tell you exactly which berry i'm having a hard time here placing it But, I'm pretty certain that it's it's a berry type scent. Now, I didn't get scent very much, but that's okay. I'm just trying to see if see how well I like it. You can see, there's a lot of Cavendish in there. So, there's a lot of room for a lot of flavor and topping to be added in. Now, I'm going to warn everybody... If you buy this, it is pretty fantastically expensive. And you do not tend to like it. Shipping it in its little plastic bag, while nice, it's going to come undone and explode all over whoever opens it as I experienced this morning in my own bedroom. I don't mind. Personally, I don't mind. I'm okay with it. But, just in case somebody uh, decides that they're going to order some, 22 something for about 4 ounces, not quite four ounces. It's uh, 3.5 ounces, I believe, is what it says on the bottom. But I don't want to look at that right now because that bag will come right back open. And I'm going to end up with more of it being wasted all over the floor. And uh, I'm greedy. Easiest way to say that, I'm greedy. So we're going to give it a little quick taste test here in a almost pristinely new pipe. Um, yeah. Black tobacco in a black pipe. Black shirt. Black hat. Raiders for life. <laughs> Alright, let's find out.
Okay. It's got a little bit of a sweet. Um, it's like almost blueberry muffin. Uh, little bits of sugars. Some, some, something caramelly, but not quite. With a berry, it could be blackberries. It's not raspberries. Uh, it's not strawberries. Uh, I would be able to pick those out because uh, I hate raspberries and I love strawberries, even though they break my psoriasis out. Um, boysenberry, maybe? Hmm. It's a mixture of berries, uh, uh, similar, not exactly the same, but similar to uh, Devil's Holiday. Uh, Devil's Holiday is a berry mix, and if you're trying to get the exact which berries it is, don't ask me. I'm not going to be able to try and tell you what they what they exactly put in there. I'm going to tell you what I taste. I tasted berries with De with Devil's Holiday. I taste berries with this. I didn't even get it lit. All we got is a little char on there. Let's see about tamping it down and getting it lit for real. If you do happen to like this Savinelli, this is a Savinelli 320. Trevi. It'll have that silver band on it. That nice, pretty silver band. You can get these at the Pipe Nook. Right now, if you go to the Pipe Nook, he also has a lot of the Series 3, which is the unfinished 9 millimeters. Great pipe. It's still Salvinelli. I don't know how he gets as many as he does. If they smoke half as good as this, you're going to love it. If you want this pipe, though, it's 88 bucks, And I'll tell you how to get the free shipping. The code is all capital letters, all one word, Briar Report. Save you $7. Hey, pick up a pipe tool or maybe some tobacco. Might as well. You're in for a penny at that point. You might as well be in for the pound. Don't know if he ships outside the United States. I... Better check on that before I tell everybody to go there. At least anymore. But go there. Have a good time. Look at his stuff. It's a great little shop. Online. They're out of Florida. Uh, I, I'm out of Texas. It took... I put the order in on the 3rd. I got it on the 8th. There was a day off for regular U.S. postage because of Sunday. Back to the bowl. All right. I'd like what I expected. I expected it to be a little bit of an English variant. It's not. It's 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 not in English. Um, it 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 definitely has a berry taste to it, though. Um. 
I'm not trying to disagree in any way, shape, or form with what Virginia Piper came across with. Uh, his taste buds are his taste buds. I can see what he was saying. And I agree with it. Because I hear what he said in his review. And I understand where that's coming from and, and how that will... Because that first, it does. It smells like the soap aisle. Go to Walmart. Walk down the aisle. You'll smell it. But the taste is pretty good. It, it, you have to like a berry blended tobacco to really be able to appreciate this. Um, I would think that it would be blackberries because of the name Black or Schwartz. But uh, that actually I'm sure has to do more with the Black Cavendish than it does with the uh, berry flavorings. I'm not going to be able to tell you which berries again. Um, it's not like a raisin or something like that. It's not plum. I'd be able to tell you a plum or a prune in a heartbeat. A wisp of something floating in my vision. All right, so it produces a copious amount of smoke. Gray. Light smelling, though. serious I would love to have this and a cup of coffee and a coffee cake a muffin a fruit something muffin a toast with a little cinnamon and sugar this would be great at breakfast time uh, your favorite latte would go real well with it After, di after dinner with a small cordial, um, a little bit of brandy or a liqueur of some sort, nothing super strong. Uh, quite honestly, the better bourbons are going to just wash this out and you're going to miss out on the, on the exceptional fruit that's in the blend. good counterpoint would be a dark chocolate with like a little bit of a pepper kick to it. Uh, they make that. There's there's a lot of very good brands nowadays that make a peppery kicked dark chocolate. If you're going to go after a beer, um, think a cream ale. Um, probably want to stay away from porters and stouts. Something light, refreshing, a saison or a. Uh, Oh, 
uh, I don't want to say an IPA. Wheat beer. Um, something with a little orange zest type of a kick to it would be good. Orange liqueurs, of course, would definitely be good. Um, try to stay off of the ones with cinnamon. They're going to be too strong, really. Uh, unlike the cinnamon toast, where you can adjust that a little bit, Kind of hard to adjust a glass of fireball. It's going to make everything taste like fireball. Mojitos would be good. That little bit of mint with this berry flavor. Oh, yeah. But I still go back to I would want it with coffee. Something breakfast. Something early morning. Sitting out in the backyard watching the sun come up. I think that's going to be that's that's really the one. This this is really a breakfast blend. First of the day, it's not so strong that you're going to be choking on it uh, it's got a little bit but light to medium I'm still trying to pick out which berries and best I can tell you is it's just a it's just a mix well before this video gets too much longer I'm going to bug out and get out of here so as always from the voodoo review long lives big bowls long ashes y'all take care and I'll see you soon